Hello everyone, it's nice to see you once again. Welcome to our channel Future Warplanes, where we give you trending updates about warplanes, from the new version of planes in the air to the currently famous and the most advanced ones around the globe. Did you want to have the full gist? Stay tuned with us until the end of the video, so you won't miss out on any information. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of our incredible videos. And it begins. F-15EX is the most advanced Eagle variant based on the F-15QA as a replacement for the legacy F-15CD. It has higher speed, a more extended range, increased payload including two additional weapon stations, and lower operating costs than previous variants. It is undoubtedly a game changer. From McDonnell F-15 Eagle to F-15EX Eagle, what is the history? How does it happen? The aircraft model F-15 is the latest in a long line of aircraft with similar names dating back to the 1970s, so it can be hard to know what is new about this grey-winged machine. But you might want to know everything about the F-15 EX Eagle II and its metal ancestors. In 1976, a few months before the United States Bicentennial celebrations, the United States Air Force initially put the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle into service. With almost 100 victories and zero losses in aerial combat, the twin-engine all-weather tactical aircraft has one of the most successful records of modern fighters. However, a better all-weather strike version, the F-15E Strike Eagle, was eventually developed and entered service in 1989, thanks to the aircraft's flexibility. Although many of the F-15Cs in the U.S. Air Force entered service in the 1980s, they are now beginning to show their age. Due to the Boeing and McDonnell Douglas merger in August 1997, the aircraft took a new turn and offered new life for the platform. One of the beautiful outcomes of the Union is the F-15 EX Eagle II. What's the new twin-seater fighter jet the USAF is crazy about? Let's see the exciting kinds of stuff the F-15 EX Eagle II is made of. The F-15 EX Eagle II is an exceptional two-seat all-weather multi-role fighter with enhanced capabilities exclusive to the US Air Force. It includes fly-by-wire aircraft controls, new weapon stations, a new electronic warfare suite, digital cockpit displays which houses advanced radar and computer, conformal fuel tanks, and a strengthened airframe. The new F-15 EX Eagle also features a deep magazine that will allow the aircraft to carry a load of advanced weapons, yet with a 28% larger payload than the F-15E aircraft. At the same time, these twin-seater aircraft will also require minimal transitional training and little additional human resources from the older versions of the F-15. And despite having two seats, the Eagle II may be flown by a single pilot. This mighty twin-seater F-15 EX Eagle can transport 30,000 pounds of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground explosive. Still on the United States Air Force, information about the F-15 EX Eagle. The U.S. Air Force received its first F-15 EX Eagle II fighter on March 11, 2021. The goal of the Eagle II program is to replace the F-15Cs, the majority of which are in the Air National Guard, with 144 new F-15 EX Eagle aircraft. The first purchase in the direction of a projected initial buy of 144 F-15 EX aircraft is by the Trump administration's FY 2020 budget proposal, which contained a request for $1.1 billion to buy eight F-15 EX aircraft. The Air Force had intended only to purchase stealthy fifth-generation fighter aircraft, but this proposal signaled a change to its plan. Early this year, the U.S. Air Force 40th Flight Test Squadron pilots successfully conducted the F-15 EX Eagle II aircraft's first missile live-fire event. The firing was born during an air-to-air -air weapon system evaluation program mission near Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. 83rd Fighter Weapons Squadron is responsible for managing the WSEP monthly event. During the event, the aircraft took off on a sortie and used its onboard sensors to identify a BQM-167 aerial target drone. As a result, the F-15 EX Eagle II was a success. According to the U.S. Air Force, the Eagle II is the first USAF F-15 to boast digital fly-by-wire flight controls, a large area display glass cockpit, an APG-82 AESA radar, joint helmet-mounted queuing system, and EPAWS self-defensive suite from the outset. Lieutenant General Mike Lowe, at the plane's unveiling ceremony in April, stated that the new jet's capabilities would provide significant improvements over legacy aircraft, said as an upgrade in weapons capacity, including the ability to carry outsized weapons for these missions and for standoff roles in the high-end fight supporting our geographic combatant commanders. However, Colton Myers, an F-15EX test project manager with the Operational Flight Program Combined Test Force, said that the F-15EX Eagle II release was an end-to-end -end verification of the entire weapon system, which will pave the way for more complex missile shots in the future. 
According to the statement made by 96th Test Wing during the Combat Archer Air-to-Air -air Weapon System Evaluation Program, the F-15 EX Eagle II release marked the first time the United States Air Force would fire a weapon from this type of fighter aircraft came after over six months of developmental and operational flight testing. Earlier in 2020, the U.S. Air Force had determined that the upgraded fourth-generation F-15X would be a reliable, and more importantly affordable, fighter to complement its fifth-generation Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, much more fleet than the F-15 aircraft. The U.S. Air Force claimed that F-15 EX Eagle II requires little to no infrastructure changes. The Air Force estimated that the F-15 EX fighter shares about 70% of parts with the current F-15Cs and F-15Es it will replace. In addition, the original production lines in St. Louis are still in place, while the producer can readily shift the aircraft's training facilities, maintenance depots, and other infrastructure to F-15X support. As part of the fiscal year 2023 budget, the United States Air Force will cut off the number of F-35s it is supposed to acquire and procure the twin-seater F-15X Eagle II aircraft. The U.S. Air Force has opted to fast-track the F-15EX procurement so that the United States Air Force could quickly replace its F-15Cs and F-15Ds as soon as possible. Also, the U.S. Air Force intended to lower F-35 procurement till when the USAF can buy more advanced F-35s in the future. Major Aaron Eshkenazi, a pilot with the Air Force who has been flying the F-15X, opened up that the open mission system makes the aircraft more modular. Engineers can plug software code into it for a new sensor or weapon, and that system is isolated from our safety of flight. Eshkenazi argued further that the F-15X could carry a larger weapons payload than the F-35. For example, he says an F-15X can hold a dozen AMRAAM missiles. He also pointed out that the Eagle makes a good distraction when paired with the stealth fighter, the same way a magician might pull your eyes towards something shiny to keep you from noticing a sneaky move. For example, the Eagle could fly with an F-22 or F-35, and the adversary's eyes would be on the Eagle. In his words, F-15X Eagle allows my 5th gen and 6th gen partners to go in undetected. Boeing has also confirmed that the F-15X will enable rapid technology insertion to ensure the platform's relevance for decades. The United States Air Force will accomplish this feat via an open mission systems architecture which can deliver advanced battle management systems capabilities, allowing the F-15X to operate independently while isolated and reconnect to the global cloud. Open Mission Systems Open Mission Systems architecture demonstrates the ability to rapidly and affordably adopt new capabilities onto unmanned aircraft systems. The goal of the Open Mission Systems is to develop industry consensus for a non-proprietary mission system architectural standard that will enable affordable technical refresh and insertion, simplified mission systems integration, service reuse, and interoperability, and competition across the life cycle. Industry and the government have worked on solutions cooperatively to achieve these goals for several years, with extensive testing and demonstrations. Therefore, it is incredible that Boeing would integrate the open mission systems into the F-15X Eagle II fighter jet. From what we have seen, we can conclude that the twin-seater F-15X Eagle II fighter jet is genuinely excellent. We can seem to get more of United States aircrafts. Let's keep looking at the future of the twin-seater fighter jet. We anticipate another series of fighter jets. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below, and we would be happy to address them in our next video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our videos. We appreciate your time. Once again, guys, enjoy your day, and we'll see you again next time.